everyone. This video is all about ChatGPT for elementary educators. So what is ChatGPT? It is artificial intelligence. It's AI. It's a tool that uses natural language processing techniques to respond to user generated prompts. So in other words, you ask the ChatGPT website a question, or provide a prompt, and it will then answer your prompt. So before we go into how we can even use ChatGPT as an elementary educator, this is just a little disclaimer. It's really just for us educators to use as a productivity and instructional tool, and it's not for any of our Freehold Township School students yet. Right now, the tool should not be used by anyone under the age of 13. And if we could just avoid, even though it's very cool, if we could avoid using it in front of our students, so that way they don't go home and try to use it on their own. So before we get started on this next slide, there is a link for ChatGPT. And you may want to, as you're watching this video, try it. So that way, when I show you something that you can you do with ChatGPT, you can then try it on your own. When you go to the website, you're then going to click Try ChatGPT, and then you're just going to sign up. I believe it's a sign in with Google button. So here are 15 ways to use ChatGPT as an educator. So number 15, you can collect writing samples in different perspectives. You can collect your mentor text, your model writing pieces for all your writing units using ChatGPT instead of writing them on your own. For example, you can tell ChatGPT any prompt or give it any direction. So this one was write about recess time from the perspective of a fourth grader. You can also tell chat GPT to write an informational text in the perspective of a fourth grader about killer whales. Write opinion pieces, persuasive essays, literary essays, personal narratives, realistic fiction writing. You also can have chat GPT write you different poems. So for fourth grade, for that mini poetry unit, you can collect as many poems as you would like or need for that unit using ChatGPT. A pro tip is you can ask ChatGPT to write a model piece in the style of a poet or author your students know well. So this example was write a poem about winter in the style of Shakespeare. Number 14 is you can have ChatGPT write lesson plans to confirm change or challenge your thinking. So you can actually say design a lesson plan to help students write blah, 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 blah. Or you can just give ChatGPT a standard. You can just say lesson plan on 2.0A.2, which is an operations and algebraic thinking math standard in second grade. And then ChatGPT will write you a lesson that goes with that standard. And then you can read through it and you can maybe get some new ideas from the lesson that ChatGPT designed for you. Number 13 is design formative assessments, do nows, or exit ticket questions. So you can create a test with ChatGPT. You can say something like provide 10 multiple choice questions about the American Revolution or another topic, maybe in social studies or science. But you also can tell ChatGPT to design, it doesn't have to be 10 questions, it could be a three question exit ticket or design a three question test for and then give it a specific standard. And then you can see this fourth grade standard, it generated 10 questions that were designed to assess student mastery of this standard with the standard on top. So there's no more looking for standard based assignments or questions. You could just use chat GPT to do that for you. Then you would just copy this and paste it into a Google Doc to use for your students. Number 12 is ChatGPT can write decodable text for your students. An example is write a decodable short vowel paragraph. And then here's that paragraph right here. If you want to keep the paragraph as it is, just feed the words with phonics features that have not been taught to students. Or you can copy and paste it into a Google Doc and make a few adjustments if needed. And a pro tip, thanks to Coley, our last TC coach, 
you could actually ask ChatGPT to write decodables with student interests or familiar words. So for example, you can say, write a decodable with CVC words about video games, or write a decodable text with CVC E words about surfing. Number 11, you can curate materials for small group phonics instruction with ChatGPT. You can ask ChatGPT to write decodable sentences using foul teams or a specific phonics feature. Then it'll come up with all the sentences. You then can use these sentences as a rally for a phonics group who has mastered vowel teams, or you could use it as a try at one for a small group working on vowel teams. One of my favorite things that ChatGPT can do is write emails to student families and colleagues. This example on the left-hand side says, write an email to a student named Lily who missed class and needs to make it up in two weeks by watching the class recording and completing the class activities. This is clearly like a middle school or high school example, but it's showing you that you can actually write an email to a student who missed school and needs to complete different things um, for your classroom. On the right-hand side, uh, this is just a silly one, but I said, write an email to student families about how great our Halloween parade was. And then this was just like a beautiful email that you could copy and paste and send to your student families. But my favorite example so far is I had it write a positive behavior email to a student family about raising hand quietly, completing all work during small groups, and for even trying a challenging question while persevering. And it, it gave me this beautiful email then to use for that student to send to their family, even with like a subject line for the email. So you can strengthen your relationship with students and families by generating these positive behavior emails for students. And it's an awesome way to encourage positive behavior. Send them as often as possible, and you don't have to write them yourself now. Now ChatGPT can do it for you. And if you send them often, it'll totally help with your classroom management. You could have ChatGPT write a leveled text by Lexile level according to NWE EA map data with specific vocabulary. So this example was write a knowledge building text or an informational text about turtles and tortoises at Alexa of 600, include the words certain, intend, predict, and locate. So you can have it even, you can include different vocabulary words maybe that you've already been um, talking about in the classroom to find these words in the text, or maybe it's vocabulary that's coming up soon that you're going to be talking about. So we can find, we can get endless amounts of level text by Lexile level using ChatGPT. We don't have to just use ReadWorks and Reading A to Z and Newzella. Number eight is use it to generate contrasting examples to sort. So on the right hand side, here are two examples. You can tell it to give you five real life examples of a certain topic. So this was kinetic energy. Then it gave me five examples. Now something else you could do with ChatGPT is you can continue the conversation with, with the robot. <laughs> you could then say now comma, and it'll remember what's above that in the conversation. Give me five real life examples of potential energy, and then it will. And then actually I didn't include this on this slide, but there's a third example that says now comma, Give me five real life examples that have both kinetic and potential energy. And then you can use these examples in your lesson about kinetic and potential energy, or you can give them to students to have them figure out which one's kinetic, which one's potential, or which ones have both. Number seven is use it to create lists to sequence historical events, science concepts, and key events. So this is really supporting students with things being in sequential order. So this example was give a step-by-step -step explanation of the life cycle of a seed, but write it at the level a five-year-old would understand. So that's a key word. You can say things like write at the level a six-year-old would understand. Then they'll give you a beautiful step-by-step -step explanation that you could use for your lesson. But then you can continue the conversation. You could say now, do the same thing, but list the steps in the incorrect order. Then you can copy and paste this and use this with students or copy and paste, make the font bigger and make them little strips that you could just print in a Google Doc. And then you can have your kids 
put them in the correct order. And then just to take it a little further, the last one says now correct the order, but leave out two steps. So then kids are trying to figure out the two steps that are missing. Number six is create problems for small group instruction. So like I showed you earlier, you can tell chat GPT a specific standard. You can do that in ELA and you can do that in math. You could also do it with the next um, gen science standards or a social studies standard. But this example is not mentioning a standard. It's just saying create a math problem with place value about a kid named Sam. So maybe using the student's name for second grade. And then it gives you a problem that maybe you can then use in your small group instruction. Maybe also it's just to like understand the standards better. Maybe you're new to a grade level or you're new to teaching and you don't really know all of the standards by heart. You could use ChatGPT just to like even understand all the different types of questions to assess one specific standard. Number five is create word ladders for phonics groups. So many of us, when we're using word ladders in our classrooms, we would try to find a book that had it or try to find a word ladder on online, but you could actually just have ChatGPT create a word ladder for specific phonics features for you. And then you can just use like a blank word ladder template with your students, and you can use these as the word ladder. Maybe you could even take it further. I bet this would work. If you said, now give me the definition of each of those words, it probably would tell you the definition of jet, get, pet, pat, so on and so forth, so that those are the clues that you're using as the students are completing the word ladder. Number four is create mentor text to use for writing conferences. So this is similar to what number 15 was. You can have it write model writing pieces for you, or you could just have it write a simple paragraph at a first grade writing level about light and sound. So light and sound, that's one of our first grade topics, one of our units. And I love how it wasn't just like a whole piece, it's just a simple paragraph because in a writing conference, many times you can just use one paragraph to teach or model something to the writers. Number three is used to support language standards. So we are now taking NWEA map language portion. And so the kids have to be exposed to those language standards that we may have forgotten about prior to doing NWEA map language assessment. And so this is just showing you a way that ChatGPT can be used. Number two is generate sample NJS LA questions in text. So many of us are always looking for test prep questions or text to use with students. And so this was create a third grade NJSLA question. So ChatGPT knows exactly what NJSLA is with multiple parts about unknown vocabulary in an informational text. And so ChatGPT then gave these questions, right? And they said in the article, amazing animal adaptations. But ChatGPT didn't give the article. So they continued the conversation and they said, now write the article that goes with the question. And then here you go, amazing animal adaptations. That's the title of the article. And then they give it to you. And then you simply copy and paste into a Google Doc and you use with students. This is another example for NJSLA. You can say, create sample NJSLA reading assessment questions covering standards, and you can mention more than one standard. Reading informational text 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, which is our district full. Include a text and 10 questions. So you can give it, you can tell it to give you a certain amount of questions, and you can say, please include the text so you don't have to ask it again. Some questions should have two parts, almost like a part A, part B, or choose or choose two. Um, so here's the text, and then here were all the questions that it generated. And then lastly, you can write a drama with stage directions for your students to act out. So if anybody from fourth grade is watching this, you guys know that RL reading literature 4.5 really bothered me a couple years ago because it was an NJSLA standard that I didn't meet. And it was had to do with stage directions and that the kids had to know which, what were stage directions were and how they contribute to the drama. So you could have ChatGPT write a drama with stage directions about something. I just wrote about a student persevering through a challenge just for fun. And then you can use this to teach that standard. 
This also, you can write any drama with this for fluency practice. And if anybody's doing drama club this year, you totally could use ChatGPT to write different dramas for different small groups of students for that club. This last slide are just a few articles about ChatGPT and using it in education. And it has a few more um, ideas that I may not have mentioned. So before I end this video, I just want to go to ChatGPT and show you how to copy and paste an email and then an activity into an assignment. So you would just highlight everything. I'm hitting Control C for copy, going to my email and pasting. But notice how it comes out a little weird with the gray. All you have to do is highlight it again and click this T that has a little slash to remove formatting. And there it is. And then you can put the subject, you can put the parent's name. If you didn't have ChatGPT, put it in there for you. And then let's say I wanted to use this drama with my students called The Unbreakable Spirit. ChatGPT just wrote this for me. I would again highlight it, click Control C to copy, and then open up a Google Doc, Control V to paste. And then again, see how it comes out like gray on the back. You could like leave it if it's not a big deal to you, or you can highlight everything. And again, click the T with the slash to clear formatting. And then I don't know about you, that's just more work to me. I probably would have just left it. And then you can do whatever you want with this. I'm really excited for everybody to use chat GPT kind of make your life easier in the classroom. And if anybody has any other ideas that you come up with, please share them.